She never listens to me. Or me. Holmes! I wouldn't worry too much, Grayson. Lestrade's in no danger. Whoever is in there wants to be caught. Have you lost your mind? She was tracking Finwick, Moriarty's most dangerous henchman. Yes, the newscast was most informative on that score. That is why I have come to offer my aid. Then how can you stand there so calmly? A criminal who wants to be caught isn't likely to put up a struggle, now is he? Chief Inspector. Well, oh, nice to see you out from behind your desk. Never mind about that. Where's Fenwick and his crew? Fenwick was here. I know it. But these upstanding citizens are all I could find of his crew. Is there a problem here? Don't get cute with me. These are elastomasks, aren't they? Uh, hey, now! Oh, I'm claiming police brutality. Claim away. Take them to the yard. I want their full profiles matched against the database. Fingerprints, DNA scans, the works. Right, Lestrade. Come on, you lot. Huh? Misplace your spectacles. Uh, Spectre, what? Nobody's worn glasses in over a hundred years. You really need to catch up on your hollow studies. Hmm. Mind your staff. If you ask me, your dead detective is suffering from rigor mortis of the brain. He thought Fenwick wanted to be caught. Doesn't take a genius to see that he got away. Hmm, possibly. <clears throat> but he most certainly wanted to be followed here. The trail of oil stains Lestrade followed is obviously deliberate. Deliberate? It just means the hovercraft's got a unilube leak? Eyes and brains, Lestrade. An unintentional leak would not have left such a regular pattern. And you'll find that the heavy viscosity of the fluid makes it quite useless as a lubricant, but very easy to spot. Watson, if you'd be so kind. You see, 